All right, my name is Taylor Erkling. Today is March 30th, 2017. It is about noon right now. And I'm going to be showing you how to do a urinary catheterization on a female patient. First, what I'm going to do is assess my client. I'm going to assess their condition, the catheter size, method of catheterization, any allergies, and the last void that they have had. Then I'm going to gather my equipment. I have my sterile Foley kit, a bath blanket, perennial care supplies, and clean gloves. I'm going to go in, into the patient's room. I'm going to identify myself, and then I'm going to identify the patient using two identifiers, name and date of birth. And I'm going to explain the procedure to them. After I have explained the procedure to them, I am going to provide privacy, perform hand hygiene, and then I'm going to get ready to perform perennial care on them. I'm gonna pull this blanket back and I'm going to cover her up with a bath blanket instead just to keep her comfortable. There we go. My patient's going to remain in the supine position and I'm going to elevate her feet, have her feet placed on the bed and let her knees just fall out. All right. After hand hygiene, I am going to put on my clean gloves. And I'm going to perform perennial care. And I'm going to throw that away. Take off my gloves. Perform hand hygiene again and then I'm going to open up my sterile kit. I'm gonna open this away from me, remembering that this is a sterile field and I don't need to cross over it. I'm gonna remove my gloves and set them aside. And then I'm going to take the sterile drape, being careful to only touch the outside or one inch border on the inside. And I'm going to position the drape appropriately. There we go. Next, I'm going to don my sterile gloves. Next, I'm going to take my kit and I'm going to place it on the patient's bed. I've already opened the swab sticks and set them down here. Now I'm going to come back over, open my lubricant, and then I am going to test out the catheter using um, a syringe filled with 10 milliliters of fluid. Seems to be going well. Now I'm just gonna let it passively come back out into the syringe. There we go. I'm just gonna set that down in the lubricant right there. I'm gonna come back over. I'm gonna take my swab sticks out and I'm going to separate the labia and I'm gonna clean the farthest one first and discard, then the closest, discard, and then right down the middle. All right, I'm gonna keep my hand in the same position and then with my dominant hand, I'm going to gather everything and bring it all over at once. There we go. I am going to insert the catheter 
two to three inches into the female. Once I see the urine return, I'm going to insert it another two inches. Keeping it in place with my non-dominant hand, I'm going to use my right hand to inflate the balloon. If it meets with resistance, I know that I need to let it passively flow back out and then further insert the catheter. Once it's inserted, I can let go with my non-dominant hand, remove the syringe and discard. Then I would tear this and remove it. I would remove this from the field. I would remove my sterile gloves, wash my hands, and apply clean gloves. And with my clean gloves, I would secure this to the leg in a place where they can still comfortably ambulate. And then I would put this bag down below the um, height of the bladder. I'd make sure that the patient is in a comfortable position. I would note any of the client's responses or discomfort during the procedure. And as always, I would document. Thank you.